Now in this next part then we place a load of, um, of a mass of 16 kilograms so uh, we place that on the rod uh, somewhere from A so a distance Y so let's just mark that in here we've got 16 kilograms so it's going to be 16 G newtons and we're told that that's a distance Y from A so we can just mark that distance in as Y and what we've got to get then is in terms of Y the tension in this rope acting at C so to do this all we need to do is take moments about A so if we take moments about A again we need a positive sense so I'm going to take again anti-clockwise as positive and if we take moments then we've got the tension here TC multiplied by the distance to A which is 4 then we've got minus the weight here minus because it's going to want to turn in a clockwise direction so that's going to be 12g times the 2.5 and now we've got minus 16g times y the moment of this force here force times distance so that's going to be minus 16g the force times the distance y the rod is still in equilibrium so no turning effect no overall resultant moment so it's going to equal zero so if we rearrange this equation now just for the tension TC we've got 4TC if we add these two terms to the other side if I add the 16GY we've got 16GY 12G times 2.5 is 30G, so if we add 30G to both sides, we've got that, 30G. So if we now divide by 4, we get TC equals 16GY plus 30G over 4. If you take G to be 9.8 and divide each of these terms by 4, what you get is 39.2Y and 30g divided by 4 comes out as 73.5 and there you go you have the tension in the rope at C in terms of Y that brings us now to the end of this part of the question